Oh shoot. This is my boo. Say hey, boo. Hey, boo. He has on a free he has on a freedom shirt. I have on a equality shirt. So we're in this uh Korean store, corner store and corner Korean market. And uh of course you, some of you may know, some of you may not not know that my husband is vegan and we'll get into that story later. Mm -hmm. Not today, but anyway, we came in here because I've came in here before and just bought a few things, but my husband and I just had to grocery shop. So we have a few things which we gonna do. We will do a whole haul on the stuff that we bought. But um, yeah, we're in here and we're just looking through the many items that they have. And um, I have always, I have never had a desire to come into a store like this because I was like, what's the point? I can't read anything. I don't know what I'm buying, but fear not, they have, majority of their products in English so like my husband said that you know this is a learning experience we don't know we don't know what everything is of course um, we don't know what everything is used for but this is pretty much a learning experience so yeah so we're gonna do a little haul when we get home and oh, by the way y'all check out my shoes they are so comfortable Michael Coors makes shoes like this but they're a hundred dollars y'all these are feel I'm not spending a hundred dollars on Michael Kors shoes. Nada. But anyway, yeah. So, y'all, we are going to show. Oh, look, y'all. Dried yam sliced. Dried yam sliced. I bet that's really good. So yeah. So we're gonna do a. We're gonna do a little haul and let you guys know. This is a very small store, but it has a lot of nice things in it. We're gonna do a small haul when we get home, and we're gonna. Let you guys see all of the wonderful things that we got. Stay tuned. Okay, so after going to the Korean store, we also went to the Dollar Tree to see if we can find some soy milk, which I usually buy the cartons of soy milk. I've been buying cartons of soy milk for a long time from Aldi. Not Aldi, I'm sorry, from the Dollar Tree. And unfortunately, they didn't have what I was looking for. And they only had four containers of almond soy milk, or I'm sorry, almond milk. Thank you. At the Dollar Tree. So they didn't have that much. So we're gonna go buy the Dollar Tree closer to our home and see if they have some uh, soy milk there. But we just came out of Aldi and um, we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree real quick. That's our last, very last stop because it is getting so late. Um, we're gonna go closer to our home and we are going to get some soy milk. So I can this. And the reason why I was, I used to buy that soy milk all the time is because it was very inexpensive and we could store it. So that's what we're about to do. But let me just tell you, while we were in the Dollar Tree, I found some tostadas. I never, ever thought about making tostadas um but i read the package because you know i was just looking in the dollar tree trying to see what i could grab to make you know a quick little meal and whatnot and so i found these little stacks of tostadas and i read the ingredients to make sure hubs can eat it because you know of course you know he's fully vegan and um uh, everything in there was good he could eat it no milk no dairy you know well that's dairy milk is dairy no no dairy no eggs and whatnot so i'm like okay shoot i can make some tostadas so i told my husband i said hey grab some black beans because refried beans i guess sometimes come with um i'm thinking refried beans will have like milk in it or whatever i don't know dairy for some reason i don't know why i'm thinking that but that's what i'm thinking anyway so i told him i said yo grab some black beans a can of black beans so i told him i said grab some black beans because i'm thinking shoot I can mash some black beans up, throw that little fake beef on top, um, use our little uh, dairy-free cheese, you know, get out, get that rotel, sprinkle that on there, you know, do a little something, something. Well, I wasn't thinking that far ahead, but I was thinking, hey, we can mash the, um, we can mash the, the black beans up, and then my husband said, yeah, maybe we can get an avocado. I was like, okay, cool, we can do that, and then, you know, I grabbed some peppers in a can from the Dollar Tree, and then... Um, I grabbed some black olives because I love me some black olives. So, you know, we, you know, that's what we were thinking about and using a fake meat. 
So that's what we were thinking. Then when I got to Aldi, Aldi, I was like, oh man, let me try to find a tostada, a vegan tostada recipe. So I ended up finding a vegan tostada recipe, which calls for fresh salsa, it calls for lettuce, it calls for like mock meat, beef, whatever. And um, what else did it call for? calls for vegan cheese monterey jack cheese and ja, 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 ja. what else and an avocado mash and yeah that was pretty much it so the only thing is y'all i i just regret is that we don't have any like vegan sour cream i forgot to get that and um what else crap it's like when we when we're trying to put together a recipe it's like we got to go all the way around the world to find different components to go in the recipe instead of like being able to find it at one store you know like you would go to walmart and just buy your beef and your cheese and your tostadas and your corn or whatever else you want to put on there your salsa and you good but vegans man we got to go all around the world because some stores don't sell vegan cheese right what do you think about having tostadas today? I think it's going to be great. Does he sound like a robot to y'all? I'm, I'm just asking. Just, you know, because my husband, he um, he's having a complex about doing videos. And I told him, you know, when he, I told him he sounded like the dry eye guy. You know, I told him he's not excited enough, you know, when he's doing videos. So maybe it's just me being critical. I don't know but and so they do not have any soy milk they have one container and it's crushed so i decided to grab all of the almond milk that they have so this is the almond milk dairy free gluten free soy free so i grab every every one of the almond milks that they had of course these are dollar at the dollar tree and they are 90 calories um 32 ounces so yep yeah. Here we go. I also decided to grab, I needed something for my um, chives. I'm gonna, I got some fresh chives from Jeff, from the Korean market. I'm gonna dry, dehydrate my chives and put them in this jar. And I've decided to pick up a similar one. I'm gonna put my pink Himalayan salt in here. Um, I usually get the, the Donald Duck orange juice because it's so good. They don't have any. So I'm getting the Donald Duck kiwi strawberry juice and this has uh, milk derivative in it, so um, if you decide to get cereal from the Dollar Tree, just just make sure you look at the label. But with all things, make sure you read the label. So it may be a product with genetic engineering. I'm just gonna grab these because it'd be something quick for me to eat. Um, these tutti fruities don't have any milk in it, any dairy in it. Uh, these only have wheat in it, and. This, this could be something quick to eat with the almond milk because I'm definitely going to start back doing what I'm supposed to be doing and trying to eat better. So, yeah, so I just, I, and I know those have sugar in it, but I'm just trying to, um, when I do eat, I'm just going to make sure I eat something. So, yeah. So this is what I'm grabbing from the Dollar Tree. All the almond milk I can find because for some reason they got boxes everywhere and that's in all the Dollar Trees. I don't know if they're running out of product or what, but they need to get all right, everybody, on. I'm back. Um, as promised, I said I was gonna do a grocery haul. So this is everything that I went, my husband and I went and purchased um, for a vegan and non-vegan. So I have it divided in sections, as you can see. Um, this is everything that we bought. I really can't tell you a price point. I know at one store I spent $30 at, um, well, at the Korean store I spent around $30 at Aldi. At one store we spent probably $17. And then at another store I went and cleared them out of almond milk because I needed, um, I went to get some soy milk, but they were out. So they only had almond milk and regular milk. So I just cleared the other Dollar Tree store out of the actual um, almond milk. So. I'm just gonna quickly go through everything that we have purchased just in case you're a new vegan or you're trying to transition um, from eating meats or you're trying to become a, a vegetarian or whatever. This will probably give you a jump start. Everything I purchased is not for a vegan or you know, or someone who's fully vegan or you know, um, a lot of this stuff is for vegetarians, but um 
majority of the stuff that I got is for vegan, which my husband is. So it's my, if you could come closer, um, I will show them. First, the first store we went to, let me just show you guys. We went to the Korean market and, and uh, I got these chives. These chives smell so good. So I got a bundle of chives. I think it was like a dollar and 70 cent. That, that was the first thing that I bought from the Korean market. Um, I also purchased this vegan chicken. It's seitan, which I don't, if you're not familiar with seitan, you can look it up. It's vital wheat gluten. And this is how the mock chicken looks. So basically, I'm getting ready to put this in the freezer. Um, it's high protein, no cholesterol, vegan seitan. So vegan chicken, I'm sorry, it's made out of seitan. Always, if you're thinking about, you know, becoming, you know, transitioning, always look at packaging. Always look at ingredients so you know exactly what you're putting into your body. And, of course, we looked over it. I have made satan before homemade, and so I pretty much know what it tastes like, what it is, all of that jazz. This is good for stir fries over rice wrap salads, okay? Vegan satan. I think these were like $2.99 a piece, so I'm getting ready to put these in a the freezer. I also purchased some vegan beef. Again, it's the same uh, idea, same product. I never have tried this product before, but like I said, I have tried Satan because I've made it myself. Some people say Satan. I don't like saying Satan. So I say Satan. So this is vegan beef, which I'm gonna get, I'm getting ready to make some homemade tostadas. So I'm going to actually leave one of these out. And this is what I bought from the Korean market. I also purchased some fried firm, extra firm tofu. I don't think I can freeze these and say keep refrigerated. So I'm actually going to put these in the freezer. I don't know if these will hold well in the freezer as well. Uh, I don't know if it's keep refrigerated, but it's keep refrigerated. So I um, usually I try to freeze stuff. and But of course, once you freeze fake mock meat, it changes the texture. But I'm actually going to freeze this and, you know, I'll just deal with the texture later. Deal with whatever comes. Um, I will not be freezing my fried tofu because I will actually be cooking one tomorrow and one the next day. But this is, I never had this before. It's fried extra firm tofu. And um, one of the women who were, who were in like a vegan group locally, she recommended this. So I'm actually going to try this. So that's fried extra firm tofu. You can do a lot of different dishes with the tofu, but you have to cook it. You can't eat it raw, just like this tofu. This is just extra farm tofu. It looks like this, and you have to actually cook it. Um, this is nature soy extra farm tofu. Y'all, when I say I love tofu, I love, 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 love tofu. It's pasteurized. It's vegan. I love me some tofu simply because I know how to make chicken fried tofu, tofu, whatever I can make. And the recipes are simple. It's all about seasoning. You have to season your food. And so I'm Southern. I'm from the South. I love season, seasoning my food. And you can use this for stir fries. You can use this for what, pretty much whatever, um, whatever you want. Salads, stir fries. I have made like peanut butter tofu before. I mean, it's delicious. So this is pretty much what I bought from the Korean market. Also, um, we picked up some goji, goji berries, which these are good for oatmeal, for throwing them in smoothies. If you don't know what goji berries is, I would highly recommend that you look it up and see what it is. Goji berries for our smoothies. Um, I bought some premium flower shiitake mushrooms. They they have a weird smell to them, but they are dehydrated. And so what you can do is put them in. You can like rinse them off. And when you're getting ready to, to use it, you can rinse these off. And you can put them in veggie broth. Make sure it's veggie broth and not chicken based broth like or i'm sorry meat based broth make sure it's a veggie broth um take some of these and wash them off soak them in some veggie broth chop them up you can have you some veggie vegan meat like from mushrooms and you can also look up recipes they have a ton of recipes online for what you can do with dry shiitake mushrooms these are great for stir fry soups wraps Y'all, the possibilities are endless. Okay, so the last thing, well, not the last thing. I'll, I'll talk about this. This is a, a red cabbage. I'm going to make my husband and I a bowl, some type of bowl. And so look at this red cabbage. Isn't that beautiful? 
is wrapped great. So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna rinse it off when I get ready to use it. We're gonna, I'm gonna make us a protein tofu power bowl. And it's gonna be so delicious, maybe with peanut butter tofu or something. Um, the very last thing I am gonna show you guys, I never used it before, but this look like, this look like uh, pork rinds, doesn't it? If you look at the texture, this kind of look like pork rinds, but it's actually not pork rinds, it's bean curd. This is the, the foamy stuff that comes up off of tofu. When they're, when they're making tofu, it's supposed to be like the, the foamy stuff that comes up off of the tofu when they're making it, when they're processing it, I guess. Um, don't take my word for it. Look it up because I'm not really sure. But in this picture, you can see some beans. I'm assuming that this, this bean curd is like a fatty product that you can, um, that you can use in dishes like beans or you can uh, stir fry it with a little oil, chop it up, um, have a crisp element to whatever dish you want. So on the package, it say fried skin of bean curd horn. And I've had bean curd before because I've used bean curd. Oh gosh, I think I used bean curd like for Thanksgiving dinner. And I wrapped, I wrapped it in something and I mean, it was delicious. I don't know if I made a mock meat or whatever I made, but the bean curd is the bomb. Okay. So this keeps up to six months, y'all, as long as it's not open. But if you happen to open it, I mean, the instructions is on the package. It's clear. Keep in a dry place away from sunlight. Um, you can put it in a refrigerator, but um, if you keep it at room temperature, it lasts for up to six months. You have to make sure the package is closed. Okay. Bean curd. So this is what we got from the Asian market. All right, so we got the Korean market items out of the way. And so as you guys can see, you can do a lot of things with tofu. I can't go into detail of everything you can do with tofu, but trust me, the list is endless, okay? So basically this video is just simply trying to help you out because when my husband and I first decided to go vegan, we had no clue of what we wanted to do. We had no clue to where my husband ate so much coconut that he actually became allergic to coconut, y'all, okay? Because we just, we were trying to figure it out. What do we do? What is the first step? What do we do? Okay, so the next store I went, we um, went to was Audius because this is the next store that we actually went to to purchase more items. And so we actually went there for bread and um, milk, almond milk, of course. And so I had to get more stuff. This is what my husband likes to purchase at Aldi. The almond milk, which is dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free. This is some good milk. So you can use the original almond milk for like creamy dishes such as pasta. You can get chickpea pasta. Look, I'm not going to get into it, y'all, but I'm telling you the list is endless. Original almond milk, no flavor. Um, and so you can use it for your, your more savory dishes. And then the vanilla almond milk, of course, is sweet and it is so good. Y'all, when I say it's good, it's so good. But, and you know, we pretty much keep these in the refrigerator, of course. So I, of course, went to Dollar Tree and got some more milk because you can actually keep these in the cabinet, but we'll get to that in a second. So of course we got a lot of almond. Also, we purchased some veggie broth because, well, I was, I'm getting into it again, y'all. I'm gonna make some tostadas, some vegan tostadas. Oh my goodness. And I need some of this veggie broth. So we got the milk, the almond milk. We purchased some veggie broth. Um, we purchased some of this. They have some delicious breads. They have this oat, oh, so healthy. And I mean, when I say my husband is healthy, he's oh, so healthy. He reads everything. He he everything that goes in his body. Oh, he want to make sure it's the right thing. Sometimes it's annoying, but hey, it's his body, right? Okay, so I also picked up this uh, Gold Peak tea. I didn't know they sold Gold Peak tea, but I decided to pick up some because every now and again I love me some tea. Um, that's you know that's aside from everything else because that has sugar in it. Okay, I also picked up some black beans. Um. I picked up these black beans from the dollar store. Let's put this to the side, guys. Okay, playing out of time. By no. The hey, Siri, stop. Okay. So, also, we picked up some grapes from Aldi. Y'all, I saw this lady 
this lady, she was looking through all the grapes and I, out of the corner of my eye, because of course, for the tostadas, I need some good avocados. So I was, you know, rubbing and filling on the avocados and out of the corner of my eye, I saw her just picking in each bag and eating them. I'm like, and so I made sure I reached up above her and grab one in the back so I know that she didn't touch them, but I washed them off anyway. Y'all make sure y'all watch y'all, wash y'all veggies off really good, y'all fruits off really good, because you never know who's touching that stuff. Okay, so Avi also has cranberry apple juice cocktail and cranberry cherry juice. Um, we usually go to Kroger or Hy-Vee and get our cranberry juice, but we're glad that we saw some today at Aldi because we never go down this aisle where the juice is. So I'm glad we went down that aisle because we were able to purchase some cranberry apple juice and some cranberry uh, cherry juice now mind you guys drinking juice all the time is not good but it's better than drinking soda but what you could do is when you give your children juice like say an eight ounce cup pour four ounces maybe six ounces of juice and two ounces of water make sure you kind of balance it out so it won't be so as sweet it'll still be sweet but you're not only saving juice but you know, you're saving sugar content, you know, like how much sugar goes into your, your body or your kid's body. Also purchase spinach instead of using lettuce for my tostadas. We're going to use spinach. I love their spinach anyway. Um, it's inexpensive. It's delicious. And also, okay. So this skillet taco seasoning, I wanted some seasoning. And when I say looking at labels are very important. When I looked, when I looked at the dry seasoning, it had milk egg. It contained milk egg and whatever else. Okay, y'all, look, you have to look at the labels. Make sure you look at the labels thoroughly. This, on the other hand, this is like a liquid. And this is called skillet sauce, ground beef, taco sauce with mild beef, chili, and cumin. Of course, we're not using real beef. We're using that satan beef. So, but still, I think it's going to give it a savory taste. And as you can see, it only contains soy. So I read through all of the ingredients and it contains soy. If you're trying to transition, make sure you're careful to look at all of the ingredients because stuff may say vegan or vegetarian and guys, they know how to sneak stuff in there, okay? So just watch the labels. Um, I, One of the uh, recipes that I needed like for peanut butter tofu called for salted peanut butter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this peanut butter and I'm going to put it to the side and add some pink Himalayan sea salt to it. Make it a little salty so I can do my little drizzle on my on my um, tofu. Pop it in the oven with some bell peppers and onion. We're golden. Of course, these are mine. Yes, they are. And guess what they contain? I love these, y'all. I can't help it. I can't help it. Oh, my gosh. I can't help it, y'all. This is a weakness of mine. It contains soy wheat. It say it may contain milk, peanuts, tree nuts. Okay. Milk does a doozy on my stomach, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Dairy products jack me up, okay? Ugh. But, yeah, okay. We're going to leave that alone. Anyway, these glazes. Oh, my gosh, y'all. These are the bomb glazes. I get the, I, I'm just going to be the first time. I'm trying these glazes, but I say glazes are bomb because it's made with, like, vinegar, um, balsamic vinegar. This one is strawberry, and this one is, I guess, is regular. And so it say acetone or whatever, acetone. Okay, but I usually get my um, balsamic vinegar glaze from Kroger, and it's really expensive. So I'm glad I found these. These were like $3.99. They're usually like $4.99, something like that at, at Kroger, but these were $3.99, and I'm definitely going to give them a try. I'm so excited about that. And so I guess that's about all that I got from... Aldi. Oh, no. One more thing. Check this out, y'all. I ended up buying this bamboo steamer, a three-piece bamboo steamer, two-tier system for cooking multiple items at once, made with 100% bamboo, eight-inch diameter. I got this on clearance for $3.99. Y'all, it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. It smells so good. So, you can, of course, make veggies, steam veggies, steam rice, and seafood. And I got some quinoa. I wonder if quinoa will work in this. But who knows? We'll see. So this is how this looks for $3.99. Okay. And let's move on really quick. hy V. I I went to hy V. I I love this bacon. If you're thinking about going vegan, vegetarian, whatever, meatless, oh my goodness, this is some good doggone bacon, y'all. It's good. You can pop it in your air fryer for a couple of minutes and it's so crisp. 
contains soy and wheat. Oh, it's so good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, dwell too much into the ingredients and uh, whatever, whatever. But yeah, we we just gonna move on. I purchased some vegan go veggie, no coconut in it. Most cheeses have coconut. My husband is safe to eat this. Um, this I love this sour cream. I can make ranch out of it by chopping chives and using some vegan mayonnaise, stirring this up together with some with some vegan sour cream, tofuti sour cream, and we get, we're in business now. I love the tofuti tofuti sour cream. However, I do not love the tofuti cheese. It's disgusting. This is a new product we just found. It's five ninety nine. My husband doesn't eat sweets. It's non GMO, dairy free, nut free. 100% whole grain. So I will let you guys know how this tastes. They look good, don't they? But the picture, hmm, the picture could be wrong. So moving on. All right, now the Dollar Tree. Basically what I what I bought from the Dollar Tree was um, some honey nut toasted oats. These are just quick things that I can eat. Of course, look at the label, cinnamon toasters for a dollar. I bought some marshmallow mateys for a dollar, some tutti frutties for a dollar. I bought some jalapenos. My husband, he's going to have these on his tostadas. I got some black beans. All I'm going to do is mash these up, put some veggie broth in it, add my little beef, and uh, we're going to be in business. I'm going to make a little uh, avocado sauce. Um, I got some fresh tomatoes. I'm going to make a fresh um, salsa, sprinkle a little uh, spinach on there instead of regular lettuce, have our little cheese, you know, season it up really good. We're going to be in business with our tostadas. These are vegan. It doesn't say vegan, but of course I read the ingredients. I read them over with my husband. He was cool with it. Corn tostadas. We got a whole bunch of almond milk. This popcorn is bomb.com from the Dollar Tree. And it doesn't contain it doesn't contain any milk. Um, it doesn't contain any uh, anything that is not good for vegans. No dairy, no egg. So, and this popcorn, the bag used to be bigger, but Dollar Tree caught on to everybody buying this popcorn. So, they were like, hey, let's make the bag smaller. smaller. So, that's how that was. Um, also, this Donald Duck Kiwi Strawberry Juice is bomb. I usually get the orange juice. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but they didn't have it in. They only had these. I'm going to rock with that. And, of course, I got me some elastic bands for all of this hair. Guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. That was a tongue twister. Okay. And so this was our haul today. We was we weren't planning on getting all of this food, but we started thinking, hey, let's just grab some stuff so we'll have enough food for the week. And we're gonna just put some ingredients together and just make it do what it do. For all of you guys who are thinking about transitioning, for all of you guys who are just dabbling, it's okay. Do what feels best for you don't let anybody pressure you into going vegan for their reasons don't let anybody pressure you into eating this or that do it for your health do it for you okay um i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions feel free to ask me and i will try to answer as best as i can um my husband is fully vegan um you know i don't eat meat okay um, I eat everything else, as you can see, but hey, it is what it is. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you have a fantastically blessed day today. Peace.